Hey guys, it's the Plum Dot here, and welcome back to my channel for part number three of the Deanda Hall renovation. So we are here on the second level, and we are going to be taking care of the two bedrooms and two bathrooms, plus this little hallway that's at the top of the stairs that you can see. Would you call it a hallway? It's not really a hallway. It's more of a massive landing, but we're going to be decorating that today. So before we get started and I start talking about the build, I just want to say some of you guys had some really interesting classes that you took. And I really loved hearing about them. There are a lot of cultural studies like Irish, Japanese, African American studies, Native American, and I love things like that. I took a Native American class in my first trimester, no, semester, trimester, quarter, first quarter. <laughs> at university and I loved it and as well somebody said that their favorite class was history and I am a huge fan of history and architectural history so I love things like that so here we are in the little I think I've decided to call it the landing area and I just kind of wanted to make it another hangout space so you can see we've got the ping pong table some t some tables some activity tables what are they called what are they called my brain's not working video game tables for your nerds as well as some uh, video game what are those things called video game consoles arcade machines there we go there's the words and that is basically the layout of this little landing area so before we move on to the bedrooms i want to know what is your guys's favorite film that has to do with university or college my absolute number one college slash university film has to be revenge of the nerds i think it's an 80s film so it's probably probably before a lot of your guys's time it's before my time it came out before i was born but it is still to this day my favorite if you haven't seen it i highly recommend it as long as you're older than 17 because it is rated r and probably if you're younger than 17 it may just fly over your head some of the jokes or it may not but anyway if you haven't seen it i definitely recommend it because it is hilarious i love that film so almost finished like i said with this little landing area and as you can see i have recolored everything on camera here and then i also recolored the bathroom on camera but like i said in the first part i won't be recoloring the bedrooms on camera just because i had to get it into my brain the type of sims that i had in mind for each room and we're gonna play a little bit of a game so i will when we get to the um, bedrooms i will be telling you the major that i had in mind for each bedroom and i want you guys to guess which social group i had in mind for each bedroom because i did try to base each bedroom off of a major and a social group so enough about the bedrooms we're not there yet we are in the bathroom now this is the only bathroom on this level that i actually color because it is it's exactly the same as the bathroom on the other side the only difference is that the bathroom on the other side has a urinal so that's definitely for the males but i really wanted to make the bathrooms neutral i feel like in the original deanda hall they were very sort of gender specific in the colors or i think that was the intention is that they were gender specific in the colors so you had the purple one for the girls and i have no idea what the other bathroom color was but it was more of i guess you could say a boyish color which who says what colors for boys and what's girls i'm rambling here but that's okay but anyway these bathrooms are going to be white and gray and very very neutral so I made the shower stalls a little bit longer and a tiny, tiny bit bigger. They're, they are still one square tile wide, um, but they are one more square tile longer than the original. And I don't know why I did that. Probably just to fill up the space because it looked really, really cramped in there before. And so I just wanted to make it look a little bit bigger. So as with most of my builds, you are going to find an astronomical amount of clutter in the bathroom in the bedrooms it wouldn't be a the the plum dot build if there wasn't clutter included everywhere which is a bit silly because if you're going to play this most people play with the walls cut away and not the walls up um but i just had to do my thing and this is my thing so i hope you guys really enjoy it so on this side we have got four bathroom stalls or toilet stalls um 
and two sinks, I believe. And then obviously I just finished the two shower stalls, which everything does work. I did play test the entirety of this dorm as much as I possibly could. So all your Sims can get into those shower stalls, even with the, I want to call them potion bottles, but I had it in mind that those are, those are shampoo bottles because it just made sense to me. <laughs> But as with always, if you find that there's too much clutter in this build, feel free to take some of it out. I promise that I will not be offended if you guys feel the need to take out some of the unnecessarily unnecessary clutter because really can your sims use those wet towels no it's just there for decoration and i like to decorate when i do a renovation or a build so i hope you guys don't mind that at all so i want to say that i've had a little bit of trouble with the uploading of this dorm because when i went to put deanda hall in a new save and put it down I was struggling massively because you can't, okay, let me see if I can explain this correctly. I found that you can't necessarily kick out um, the people that are already living in the dorms and then put them into a new dorm. And then also when you place down the dorm, the little job board mailbox thing that's at the front of the um, dorm disappears. Um, so what I had to do was when you place down the dorm, you actually have to make it a no visitors allowed commercial lot, place it, and then it will go back to a dorm. Um, but then once you go in, the mailbox won't be there, and then you have to go back out, change it to a residential, and then change it back to a dorm, and then somewhere on the lot, the mailbox will will appear and you're gonna have to move it back into place. I hope that makes sense, but I will be putting instructions in the next part for when you guys go and download it if you don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, <laughs> we've moved on to the first bedroom and in the original Deanda Hall, these were carpets. And so my idea and the reason that the floorboards in here are different from the floorboards that are in the rest of the dorm is that when the people that were doing the renovation on the dormitory came in, they pulled up the carpet, they found these old floorboards they were in pretty good condition and all they had to do was refinish them. So that's why these floorboards are different than the rest of the house. And I really like how they look. I believe they are from Cake Noodles. So the only CC that you're going to find in the two dorms that the dorm rooms that I'm decorating in this part is the flooring. I don't think I use any CC other than that in these two rooms, but if I do, I will point it out, but I'm like 99% sure that there isn't any other CC. There is just a hell of a lot of clutter. So for each dorm you are going to find, or each dorm room, excuse me, um, you're going to find a microwave and a mini fridge because let's be honest, if I was in university, I would have to have my own mini fridge so that I could have my very own snacks and I would make sure that nobody would be able to steal them. So I would definitely have a mini fridge. I don't know how realistic that is in real life, but you know, I'm willing to bet that a lot of college students have mini fridges and microwaves in their dorm rooms. So my idea for this particular dorm room was to have a business um, major and then also a communications major. So I want you guys to take a guess at what social group um, I had in mind for the business major and the communications major and you'll be able to see things that are related to the social groups as I plonk them down. So go ahead down below in the comments have a guess. Now you're also going to notice that the bedrooms on this level are very neutral and when I say neutral I mean by the um, What's the word? By the wall coverings. So the walls are going to be gray and you're going to see a lot of the same furniture in each of the dorm rooms. And my thinking was that the university provided the bed frames, the side tables, the TV, the little snack area, the dressers, all of that was provided by the university. And then the customization comes in with the bed spreads. And if a student brought their own, let's say, um, what is it called? Armchair, things like that. And 
laptops, but things like desks, bookshelves, if they're the same color, my idea was that the university did provide those particular items of furniture to the students to use. Now, in the next part, you will see that there is a bit more customization in the two single bedrooms that are upstairs. Um, but we'll talk about that when we get to that part. And so I don't know if you guys remember, but when I first deleted this room, there was a double bed and a single bed in here. And I didn't think that was very fair whatsoever because who wants to start off their semester or their trimester or their quarter fighting with their roommate about who gets the bigger bed? So in all fairness, I put in a single bunk bed and a single bed in this room. So I guess the only real fight is who gets the bunk bed and who gets the single bed. Now, personally, if I had to fight for one of these beds, I would be fighting for the single bed on the ground. I hate bunk beds. I used to have bunk beds as a child and I spent a lot of time waking up in the middle of the night and bouncing my forehead off of the ceiling. It wasn't a good time. I didn't enjoy it. So I prefer to keep my feet firmly planted on the floor if possible or as close to the ground as I possibly can. So I'm just going through now and doing my thing i'm cluttering up the place and i just really love this little snack bar area because i would be spending most of my time if not at my desk it would be in front of the tele television television playing console games and like vegging out with popcorn and things like that now another thing that you will notice with the dorm rooms is that not all of them have computers and not all of them have the same computers some have lopped Lop laptops? Wow. Words. Words. Some of them have lo <laughs> Some of them have laptops. Others have full-blown PCs. And then there are some rooms that don't have any computers whatsoever. So we are almost finished with this particular dorm room. Again, let me know what social group do you think I had in mind for this particular dorm room. And we are about to move on to the second dorm room on this level and this one is completely different i really wanted to make each dorm room quite unique so that they weren't all the same apart from the flooring and the wall coverings and um, so originally i had it in mind that i was going to make this to single beds but then i was like why not let's go an extra step further let's make it a triple room and kind of make it sort of not opposites, but completely different type of roommates. So here you can see I've got the bunk bed in there again. I've taken it away and maybe a double bunk bed, not so much. Back to the single bunk bed with the desk underneath it. I really, really love how that looks. And then bam, there's another single bed. So my idea is that we have two sort of best friends that are on the side that have the bunk bed and a single bed. And then they've got a roommate um, that, you know, there is completely different from them. So I wanted to sort of section off this room um, and have two different majors, two completely different majors that really have nothing to do with each other in the same room. And that's why I use the bookshelves as sort of a divider. And I really like how that looks. And obviously they've got their own little common area with the snack bar. And you're going to see me throw down a television because I believe every room... I think every room has a television in it. Don't quote me on that. We'll, we'll find out more in the next part. I can't remember because it has been quite some time since I have renovated Deanda Hall. Um, but yeah, we'll figure it out as we go. But anyway, so this side that I'm working on at the moment with the easel, obviously I had in mind that it was two best friends or two really good friends from high school and they're going to college together and they're both going to study fine arts and then on the right of your screen um where i just plunked it down the small little television from late night i had it in mind that this person was going to be sort of in the technology field so i feel like i mean art and technology aren't that far apart because obviously the sims is art and that is technology um but i just thought they were kind of vastly different from each other 
so that's why I kind of paired them together and I think it would be super interesting to find out how well a couple of artists get on with somebody who is glued to their computer all the time and just see what would happen so I'm going through and I'm cluttering quite a bit up now I don't know if you notice on the desk under the bunk bed I actually put down a canister and that canister is actually a um one of the oh what are they called they're like a shower thing it's a shower in a can that came with world and world adventures and i think that is super realistic for college students to have like shower in shower in a can like i don't think there's such a thing in real life but let me know if there is i know there's like dry shampoo um so that was kind of my thinking is that you know if you're late for class you haven't had a shower you're up partering 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 <laughs> Jesus, partying all night and you reek of booze, you just get your shower in a can, give yourself a little spritz and off to class you go. That was my thinking, that's what I really liked. So you'll notice on the tech side, we've got this high tech um, computer, I was gonna call it a laptop, it's not a laptop, um, high tech computer and also the small little television and then on the art side, there are no computers whatsoever, but of course they can use the study area that is down below. So I think I've rambled on quite enough. Of course, let me know what social groups you think the artist and the technology major sim will belong to, but I'm gonna go ahead, wrap this up, love you and leave you guys with some music and if you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, let me know what you think and don't forget to check back for part four, the final part of the renovation of Deanda Hall. And if you guys aren't already subscribed and you like what you see, why don't you go ahead and hit that button. Don't be a plum stranger now, guys. Bye!